Solve each inequality. Use the method of table of signatures. Use the real line and the interval notation to show your answers. I'll start with A. 2x squared plus x minus 1 is less than 0. When we're dealing with any inequality other than linear inequalities, such as this one, we would bring all of the terms to one side of the inequality. In this case, this has already been done. And then we try to factor as much as possible the expression which is left on that side. This is one of the most powerful strategies to handle inequalities. I'll try to factor 2x squared plus x minus 1. I am looking for two numbers that if they're multiplied, the answer becomes minus 2. And if they're added, the answer becomes 1. By trial and error, we can guess that these numbers are 2 and minus 1. They are multiplied to minus 2 and they are added to get plus 1. As we want it. Now we can factor the left hand side. It becomes 2x squared plus 2x minus x minus 1 less than 0 we can group the first two terms and factor 2x we would have x plus 1 inside the bracket and then we factor minus 1 from the second group what is left inside the bracket is x plus 1 now we can factor x plus 1 from both terms on the left hand side and inside the bracket we would have 2x minus 1. The product of these two terms is now less than 0. Let's find the root of each of these terms. If x plus 1 is equal to 0, x would be equal to minus 1. And if 2x minus 1 is 0, x would be equal to 1 by 2. Let's draw the real line and show the roots on the real line. Minus 1 and 1 half. Draw a vertical line before the first root and draw vertical lines starting from the roots in order to create a table. Now draw a horizontal line below the x-axis and on the left hand side write the term which gave you minus 1 as a root. That term was x plus 1. Below that write the term which gave you the second root, 1 half. That was 2x minus 1. Underneath, now that you're done with all of the factors, write down the expression that you are interested in knowing how it behaves. The first row shows the x values. Two x values are important to us, minus 1 and 1 half. Now let's look at x plus 1, the first expression under x. This expression becomes 0 when x is minus 1, because minus 1 was the root of x plus 1. For any value of x less than minus 1, that is the values of x which are on the left hand side of x equal to minus 1, x plus 1 would be negative. 
we can try a value for example minus 2 into the expression minus 2 plus 1 is a negative number as we showed here now for all x's after minus 1 which was the root x plus 1 will be positive let's now look at that 2x minus 1 this expression becomes 0 when x is equal to 1 half for any value of x before 1 half for example 0 2x minus 1 is negative for x equal 1 half 2x minus 1 is 0 and for any value of x after 1 half this expression is positive now let's look at the expression x plus 1 times 2x minus 1 this is the product of the two previous expressions x plus 1 and 2x minus 1 when x is less than minus 1 both of the expressions are negative therefore their product would be positive when x is equal to minus 1 one of these terms is equal to 0 that is x plus 1 therefore their product will be 0 when x is minus 1 when x is between minus 1 and 1 half one of the expressions is positive and the other one is negative therefore their product would be negative when x is equal to 1 half one of the products is 0 that is 2x minus 1 therefore we have a 0 on the vertical line corresponding to 1 half for x values greater than 1 half both expressions are positive therefore their product would be positive let's now look at our inequality we are interested in when this product is less than 0 that is when this product is negative by looking at this row we see that this product is negative when x is between minus 1 and 1 half that is in this column if x is equal to minus 1 this expression is 0 and it's not negative therefore I do not include minus 1 in the solution for the same reason I do not include 1 half I can show this answer on the real line start from minus 1 and exclude minus 1 up to 1 half excluding 1 half we can also show this answer using the interval notation minus 1 and 1 half let's now look at B the expression for this question is minus x squared plus x is greater than or equal to 1 we should bring all of the terms to one side and try to factor the resulting expression I bring 1 to the left hand side I would have minus x squared plus x minus 1 is greater than or equal to 0 now let's look at the expression on the left hand side the discriminant for this expression is 1 squared minus 4 times minus 1 times minus 1 which is 1 minus 4 which is minus 3 therefore minus x squared plus x minus 1 has no roots in other words we cannot factor it in this case the easiest way to solve the inequality is to look at the function y is equal to minus x squared plus x minus 1 
This is the equation of a parabola. Since the coefficient of x squared is a negative number, this is a parabola which opens downward and it has a maximum. And since it doesn't have a root, it must be below the x-axis, all of its points. This means that for any value of x, the value of y is less than 0. Our question is, for what value of x is this expression positive or 0? The answer is for no x, because for all x, this expression is negative. Therefore, this inequality has no solutions. We can use the real line to show the answer. We'll leave the real line empty. And then we can also use the interval notation to show that there are no solutions. And this is the notation we use.